welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. This is going to be a relaxation slash sleep recording. So if you're listening for relaxation, but have other things to do afterwards, then please set your alarm. Otherwise you may drift to sleep. relaxation is generally the precursor to falling asleep and listening to my recordings my relaxation recordings there's a very high percent chance that you will drift off to sleep it's a bit like a weather forecast there, wasn't it? It's a high chance of sleep. So it's not the worst uh, side effect, is it? I guess. Unless, of course, you don't want to fall asleep. Then my suggestion is you listen to this sitting in a chair, upright, with armrests so that when you fall asleep you don't you know you don't fall out of the chair but lying down listening to me talking is I don't even like listening to myself but I fall asleep listening you know it's I don't know, maybe I do have the most boring voice on the planet, but for some reason, for some reason, when you listen to me, something activates, and it's it's almost... It's like a factory, like a big, big factory that closes on a Friday afternoon until Monday morning. And because it's such a big, big factory with thousands of workers... The closing down process on a Friday afternoon is quite a big deal. Because everything is gradually closed down and switched off. Every light every piece of machinery all safely switched off and checked that it was switched off so when you listen to me it's almost like that process gets activated and even if you were to just lie there listening to me so you're lying down on your bed you're feeling more comfortable than you did and you're thinking to yourself ah I can just lie here and almost be defiant what would be the point but you know uh, there's stuff on television to watch 
there'd be no point in lying down listening to me thinking I'm not going to allow myself to be relaxed and sleepy there'd be no point but you know the fact is if you was to do that you would become relaxed and you would feel sleepy in fact the more you tried to deny yourself the opportunity to relax deeply the more relaxed you'll become because even if you consciously in your mind was thinking I don't want to relax you're outvoted a million to one because your body wants to relax and your mind wants to relax your brain wants to relax all the muscles in your body your skin you know the different organs in your body they want to just relax a little bit that's why your stomach doesn't want you to be eating all the time it needs time to relax you can't be on full engine all the time like the heart's always pumping the stomach doesn't work that way so it wants to have a bit of space a bit of time to relax and when your body relaxes your heart doesn't have to do so much and the rest of your organs and your lungs and everything just Calms down. Because it's what you need. It's not about what you want. It's about what you need. Just like that factory. That big factory. Closing down on a Friday. Opening up again on a Monday. But because they're closed at the weekends, they can't leave machinery running. They can't leave lights on. It costs a fortune. So everything has to be shut down. Everything needs to be shut down. And... It's quite a nice process for the workers as well. Because although it might be, it's a winding down where everything comes to a almost an automatic stop. And there's something quite beautiful. I, I've worked in factories for years and years in my earlier life. It's something really wonderful when a loud machine, a noisy machine gets switched off. Or the ventilator system, or the refrigeration system, or whatever it is it gets switched off and there's that it's almost blissful feeling and it feels like silence and you could be talking with your colleagues there could be six of you in a room all talking about the quiet and how lovely it is yet there's six people talking so clearly it's not quiet in that room 
but that feeling of calmness is so strong that you're not even noticing your voice or the other people's voices you're just noticing the the calmness in your own body and mind so it may sometimes almost feel like the our minds are a reflection of the outer world so if someone's got a busy life they might have a busy mind if there's so much going on they might have feel like there's a lot going on inside themselves and it's not fair to say that's always the case because there's people that maybe don't work and uh, don't do much at all due to illness yet they've still got a lot going on in their mind But there is something to be said for walking out of a busy environment. It could be something as simple as walking off of a bus, a busy bus, or busy train, like a tube train or underground train, or a nightclub. You know, somewhere or if somewhere where there's lots of people talking or maybe music, and then you walk outside, and there's a pleasurable feeling in your ears. There's a pleasurable feeling in your chest and your muscles. It's almost an instant sense of relaxation also in your mind as well there's that calmness and I'm pretty certain that your ears will also be very happy just to have that break feels nice as you think about that shutting down of the factory and you're halfway through it now and I suppose the last things to be turned off would be the lights machinery's turned off everything's cleaned down And the further you get, the closer you get to the end of the day, the end of the shutting down process, the slower things go. And it's not enough work for everybody. So some people are standing around just chatting. Other people may be doing a bit of sweeping might be a couple of people even just reading books the last 20 minutes and that calmness it's about the feeling it's about really noticing that release and it can't necessarily easily be pinpointed where that release valve is and if you are able to then that would give you an advantage because you could just use that whenever you need it 
In fact, you could replace it now with an overflow. And like you have in sinks and baths, an overflow so so that your stress levels can never get above a certain level before naturally releasing, being released from your body, being let out, being forced out in fact, evacuated. And the good thing about this overflow is it can go anywhere in your body or your mind or your head. It doesn't matter. So it's in your mind where you imagine it is. So where is a nice part of your body for tension to leave? your body for you and I realised that me asking you questions may be a bit strange as you may be drifting a bit sort of coming back and hearing me and then maybe drifting again as the sense of comfort continues to increase and that comfort a deep relaxation the deeper it gets the more naturally it leads to just drifting off to sleep it's just a natural process as you imagine your body on the top of your head all the way down the different parts where would it feel really nice or where do you naturally expect stress to be released from for example top of your head or your fingertips or chest, stomach, shoulders, back of the neck. So where's a place that you maybe have already noticed in the past your stress levels reducing and being released from your body and if you want to you can attach this overflow so you're updating it updating it and attaching replacing it with this overflow which means you no longer need to give it any of your attention you don't need to do anything and you can set the level you can set the level of the overflow so stress levels from 1 to 10 you can decide what number you allow the stress to get to before the stress overflows and is released from your body and your mind released from your body and your mind and you can pick a number that suits you now and as you see that number in your mind It's 
just now done. And that overflows now. Connected to that part of your body permanently on automatic so you don't need to do a single thing. You don't need to do anything because any time that stress level gets to the point that you have already decided the overflow will release it it will be gone from your body and your mind and it will be gone released and you'll be free from it as your relaxation levels increase so that overflow can actually give you physical pleasure as you notice that whenever negativity or stress is released positivity and deep relaxation enters your body and mind positivity and deep healing relaxation enters your body and mind filling you with so much energy so much pleasure and calmness and as you continue to relax deeply and maybe you're not really taking or paying as much attention to my voice as you were at the beginning of the recording that sensation of drifting which is very very natural seems to happen more often and there's a certain feeling right at the back of your head inside your brain right at the back it feels And that part of your brain when focused upon for some reason seems to increase that level of drifting. almost like your mind becomes blank and your body just doesn't seem to exist although you know it does but it's not not connected to this feeling in your head back of your head that you're focusing on seems to be very separate 
so relaxing. Completely uninterested in anything else other than just drifting to sleep. Drifting away. Drifting It's a very nice calming feeling to notice how relaxation can so easily turn into sleep as you focus on that feeling in the back of your head It's a pleasurable, pleasurable feeling of abandonment in a sense, like you're abandoning any thoughts, you're letting go of everything. you allowing your imagination to be free and you're allowing your body to heal itself even notice that you're drifting and that's okay Joy, feeling relaxed, enjoy feeling sleepy, enjoy. 